Junie B, first grader. Cheater Pants, written by Barbara Park. Chapter Three, Switching. Finally, we got to the row right next to mine. That is where Jose and Lenny sit. When Jose's turn came, he smiled very proud. He said on Saturday his daddy bought him brand new soccer shoes, and he kicked the winning goalie with those things. Lenny went next. He said he got brand new hair gel, plus also he got a thickening cream. A thickening cream can make even the thinnest hair feel rich and full, he said. Whoa, I said. Whoa, said Herb and Jose. Whoa is what we say to be supportive. May sits behind Lenny. She stood up and she read her paper real loud. This weekend, one thing I did for fun was, on Saturday I made a pot in my pottery class, and after that I was punctual to my ballet class. And the teacher said I danced like a gazelle. Mr. Scarry did a chuckle. A gazelle, huh? He said. A gazelle is a very graceful animal, isn't it? Yes, said May. Would you like to see me do a few steps? After that, she ran to the front of the room, and she started to ballet. But Mr. Scarry said to please sit down again. As soon as she got back, I jumped right up. My turn, my turn! I said, real thrilled. I tapped on my chin. Okay, well, let's see now. On Saturday, my grandpa Frank Miller came to babysit me, and he let me roller skate in the house. Plus, also, he let me jump on Mother's bouncy bed. Only pretty soon, I got very pooped. And so I ran into the kitchen, and I drank chocolate milk right out of the carton, without even a glass. I mean, whoa," said Herb. "Whoa," said Lenny and Jose. Mister Scarry raised his hand to interrupt me. "Uh, excuse me, Junie B," he said. "It sounds like you had a great time on Saturday." But I'm wondering why you're not reading from your homework paper. Just then, my heart got poundy and nervous, 'cause I should have thought about that problem. I swallowed real hard. Um. Uh. Well, let's see. I said, kind of quiet. Why aren't I reading? Mr. Scarry smiled. It's all right," he said. "You can start over. Just take out your paper and read us what you wrote." After that, I stood there very frozen, and I couldn't even move. Mister Scarry crossed his arms at me. "You do have a homework paper, don't you, Junie B?" he asked next. I stood there a little while longer. Then finally, I reached into my desk, and I pulled out the homework I copied from May. I waved it in the air, kind of weakish. Here it is, I said. Here's my homework paper. See it? It's right here. Mr. Scarry nodded. Yes, good. Now, could you read it for us, please? He asked. I took a deep breath. Then I looked down at my paper, and I read it silently, to just myself. Okay, done. I said. After that, I quick sat down, and I stuffed the paper back into my desk. Mister Scarry came back to where I sit. He said, "Could he please see my paper?" I felt shaky and sickish inside. Very slow, I took out my paper again, and I handed it over. After he read it, he shook his head. 
Then he took my hand, and he walked me into the hall. It seems that you and May had very similar weekends, doesn't it, Junie B? He said. I did a gulp. Yes, I said. It does. Mr. Scarry read my paper once more. So, you take a pottery class, do you? He said. I rocked back and forth on my feet. Yup, yup, I do. I said. I take a pottery class, and I make little, well, you know, pots. Mr. Scarry breathed real deep. And let's see, you took a ballet class too, huh? He said. And gee, what a coincidence! On Saturday, your teacher said you danced like a gazelle. I said very fast. Gazelle, said Mr. Scarry. Whatever, I said. My teacher sucked in his cheeks and looked at the paper again. And you were punctual too, he said. That's amazing, isn't it? I looked up at him. Well, you know, not if you get an early start. I said real soft. Mister Scarry bent down next to me. His face was not jolly. Junie B. Jones, do you have any idea how disappointed I am in you right now? Just then, tears came in my eyes. And I didn't even expect that trouble. I quick hanged my head so we couldn't see. Sorry, I said. Sorry, you're disappointed. Mister Scarry took a big breath. He said we would talk more at recess. Then he gave me a tissue from his pocket, and I wiped my tears. After that, we went back into the room. I sat down on my desk, very slumping. Cause what do you know? I didn't luck out after all. Chapter Four, Cheater Pants. It's still dumb Monday. Dear First Grade Journal, right now it is recess. I am not playing on the playground. Instead, I am sitting at my desk. And I'm waiting to get yelled at. I wish I could disappear into thin hair. If I could disappear, I would run outside, and I would find May, and I would clunk her on the head. I wish I didn't even sit next to that girl, 'cause people should never leave homework on their desk for other people to borrow. That is just asking for trouble, Mister. From. Junie B, first grader. Mister Scarry was writing at his desk. He looked up and called my name. Junie B, he said, "I'm ready for you now. Could you bring your chair up here, please?" My stomach flipped and flopped, 'cause here came the yelling part. That's why. I did some deep breaths. Then. I pulled my chair to the front of the room, and I sat down next to him. Mister Scarry took my homework paper out of his drawer. He set it in front of me, very serious. I want you to explain this, Junie B," he said. "I want you to tell me exactly why you copied May's homework this morning." I tried to swallow, but nothing went down. Um. Well, let's see. The reason I copied was, was. I tapped on my chin. Then all of a sudden, I thought of it. Daddy, I said, it was my daddy's fault. My teacher looked surprised at that answer. Your daddy, he said. Your daddy told you to copy May's homework. Yes, I said. I mean, no. I mean, last night I wanted to stay up late to do my homework, but Daddy turned out my light, and so he is the reason that I had to come to school without it. Oh, I see," said my teacher. 
Your daddy wouldn't let you stay up, so that's what forced you to copy May's paper. I nodded real fast. Yes, I said. That's exactly it. Mr. Scary raised his eyebrows. So did May actually give you her paper to copy? He asked next. I rolled my eyes at that crazy question. No, silly. May would never be that nice. I said. It's just that this morning she kept on bragging about how her homework is always an A plus, and then she left the paper on top of her desk when she went to the office, and that is just asking for trouble, Mister. Mr. Scary leaned back in his chair. Ah, he said. So when May left for the office, you saw her paper and you just decided to borrow it. I said. I decided to borrow it to copy. My teacher did a frown. Borrow? He said. No, Junie B. I'm sorry, but borrow is not the right word here at all. When you copy someone else's paper, that's called cheating. My eyes got big and shocked at that word, cause what was he even talking about? No, Mister Scary. No, I didn't cheat. I didn't. I said, cheating is when you steal answers off of someone's test. But homework isn't a test. Homework doesn't even count, hardly. Oh, but homework does count, Junie B. He said back. Cheating is not just about stealing test answers. Cheating is any time you take someone else's work and you present it as your own. He looked at me. When you cheated this morning, you broke my trust in you, Junie B. He said, "We have a rule about this in Room One. We keep our eyes on our own papers. You heard me say that a hundred times, I bet." I felt surprised at that information. That's a rule, I said. No kidding. I always thought that was well, you know, just a suggestion. Mister Scary rolled his eyes. No, Junie B. It's not a suggestion. It's definitely a rule, he said, and it's an important rule too. I drummed my fingers on the desk. Well, I'll be darned, I said. After a while, I did a deep breath. I'm sorry, I said real soft. Mister Scary smiled a little bit. I'm sorry too, Junie B. He said. But at least now I think we understand each other better. I will not put up with cheaters in my classroom. I did a wince. Yeah, only I wish you wouldn't keep saying that cheater word. I said, 'cause I didn't even know I was cheating heartily. Plus, I don't like cheaters either, Mister Scary. On account of my daddy cheated me at Old Maid last week, and I am still not over that terrible experience. Mr. Scary wrinkled his eyebrows. "Your daddy cheated," he said. I did a sigh. "Yes," I said. "Daddy raised the old maid way high in his hand, so I would pick her, and then I did. And so, what kind of sneaky trick was that?" Mr. Scary covered his mouth. He was shocked, I believe. I leaned closer to him. And Daddy is not the only cheater pants in my family either," I said, very quiet. On account of my grandpa, Frank Miller is supposed to be on a diet, but yesterday my grandma found an empty pie pan in his closet, and all that was left was a little bit of crust and a plastic fork. I thought for a second. No wonder I cheated," I said. "Cheating is in my blood, apparently." Mr. Scary did a chuckle. Well, nobody's perfect, he said. Everyone cheats on a diet once in a while, I think. But cheating at school is a very different matter, Junie B. Cheating in school is a serious business. Are we clear on that now? I nodded real fast. Clear, I said. After that, both of us shook hands, and Mr. Scary carried my chair back to my desk. 
After I sat down, he took an envelope out of his pocket and he handed it to me. I wrote a note to your parents explaining what happened this morning, he said. I would like them to read it and sign it, okay? You can bring it back to me in the morning. I did a gasp at that thing. No, Mr. Scary, not okay, I said. Please don't make me take a note home. Please, I really, really don't want to take a note. Mr. Scary thought for a second. Then he took the note back. Well, okay, he said. If you feel that strongly, I won't make you take it. He started walking back to his desk. I'll just call them tonight instead, he said. I did a loud groan. Because what kind of dumb choice is that? I stomped to his desk and I grabbed back the note. Then I stuffed it into my backpack. And I sat down at my desk. And I wrote in my journal one more time. Mr. Scary is a tattletale.